All right, here's a quick view of X current versus D current. This is an X current shape. Um, we have a pyramidal conical type shape here, uh, spruce, and all the branches are coming basically perpendicular out from the main central leader here. And this is actually a really good structure. Those unions are pretty, pretty strong as compared to something like the sugar maple over here where there's a lot of leaders going on in here. There's not just like a central one going up. So it's more of a rounded shape. Um, you're gonna have branches that are similar size to the actual main leader here, which makes a weaker union. You've got a lot of weight going off to one side or the other. Um, that creates a structural problem. So that's why we have to do a lot more work on these uh, decurrent shaped trees, um, just because more thinning is needed, more subordination, subordination of branches around here are needed to try to get a good structure and a good strong union so these trees can be healthy for a long time. These last quite a bit longer um, just because they are stronger. They're already kind of thinning themselves out into a structural ladder type um, manner here. So that's the difference between X current and D current.